morning, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds in the lightweight division. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Showing you some defense there with the block. Teddy, what's the worst case scenario for a power puncher facing a guy who, you know, he knows his opponent doesn't have much stamina. He knows that he's not going to be going after it late. Well, that could be a real trap. You get a little over anxious. You're looking for that home run. And while you're looking for the home run, you're striking out all night. What an excellent two-punch combo by Roberto Duran. One, two, one, two. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran, nice hook there. Stay on the inside. And he just holds on there. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Halfway through this round here. You see him holding on. One of his own. Good work by Roberto Duran. Comes right back at him with a left hand. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Roberto Duran. Oh, taking too many punches. Hands up. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Roberto Duran. Final 10 seconds. This has the feeling of a fight that very much looks like it'll be a chess match. Yeah, this is a Bobby Fischer type fight, no doubt about that. It's a matter of who moves their pawn, and each guy doing a real careful job and a thoughtful job before they touch those pieces. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. Good flush shot upstairs. That's a hook right to the flank. Now 
Well, he ties up there. Duran's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. No, he missed that right. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Good flush one-two jab and a straight hand by Roberto Duran. at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Jump on. Nice. And he ties up on the inside. Hey, keep your feet moving. Well placed, jab straight. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Now he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Duran's defense is paying off now. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Roberto Duran's attitude in that last fight. round really paid off. You chances, saw he was the much busier fighter. You have fighter. to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Listen, you need to move your head more. Side. And round number three is underway. Combo lands to the head. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Duran's almost got like a viper quality to it, doesn't he? He just gets in there, he attacks real quick, comes in, strikes before you know what hit you. Yeah, he's very quick, and that is his style. He likes to get in, do his damage, and get out. Right now, his opponent can't match him with that physical ability. What he's got to do is try to time him on the way in. Combination to the head. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Halfway through this round. Would you rather have a fighter who's feared or a fighter who's fearless? I feel like I'm talking to Sonny from the Bronx Tale, but I think that I would rather have a guy that has fear because he's going to be smart all the time. He's going to be a guy that's going to be aware of things that you need to be aware of. If he's so-called fearless, he's going to walk into all kinds of things that are not going to allow him to be a fighter. Not much action as he just ties up. Oh, uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Roberto Duran's jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it, he's got it. Oh, what a whip by Roberto Duran. Focus on the inside. Focus. Hits him in the mug with the right. by 
by Roberto Duran. And this round comes to an end. Good, looking good. He's tired. He's tired. He's got nothing left. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? Start of round four, I was trying to listen in to what was told to him after the third round. Teddy, he trails on your scorecard three rounds to zip. He's throwing a lot of punches, but he needs some better advice. Yeah, well, one of the things that he could be told, and I would tell him, is move after your last punch. Don't stand there and wait for the receipt. You're paying a price. showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Roberto Durant's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. His shirt, perfect combination, and he is floored. Well, the old timers would say you can hit a guy with two. Why hit him with one? he gets and if he wants to stay up he's gonna have to grab on kill a little time <laughs> took a shot now he gives a left halfway through round number four nice strike after catching one by Roberto Duran uppercut, uppercut. and now he's targeting upstairs One, two by Roberto Duran. Comes right back at him with a left hand. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Roberto Duran's able to land the hook on the inside. Is there anything he should be careful of, though, Teddy, on the inside like that? Ripping off the power punch. Yeah, one of them is, and I just saw it a moment ago, he better not admire his work. He throws that punch and he's looking to see the effect. He might find out the effect on the other side. The guy come right back and catch him. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Oh, what a hook upstairs. All right, deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough where he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Left and right, left and right. Keep moving. Keep 
Omix! Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Roberto Duran. Not able to land the uppercut. Stay away from them. Come on! Halfway into round number five here. Oh, on the inside! How about a return to sender with the left hand? He is damaged. Big, big shot he just scored with. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. the fight. Roberto Duran's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Roberto Duran's your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's going to be easy to sell now to television. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.